you have changed a lot in a positive way. A lot. You're aware of that, right? Yes, I think so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> But All people right. will say people don't change just because they have a kid or whatever. But I feel like I changed before oh, that, people, too. You did. I, I was witness. Yeah. And people do change because they have kids. Can we literally <laughs> say that one more time? Yeah. Because literally people are like, oh, just because she has a baby doesn't mean she changed. But it changed me completely. Oh, people are often changed dramatically by having kids. Like they, they, so drastically. Now, now, I, I, now, your personality construct might be the same. But your right. choices and your priorities, everything shifts. Oh, everything. my gosh. No, I feel everything. like that, like my selfishness like disappeared. Because I didn't have a maternal instinct right away I wasn't super like I didn't know what she needed when she cried and stuff like that mm-hmm. but but I used to be super selfish where I'm like it all has to be about me where now it's just like if I'm um, like an hour away from her I feel like guilty you know what I mean I feel like this, this... Do, you, do you feel that is is part of that guilt wanting to be around them because you love her so much and also because my parents both worked a lot so I never saw my mom she so, just so worked all the time so it's your stuff again but but I, but yeah, I would right. that's okay but but I would still focus on like how much you positive feelings you have for this little being and yeah, that no, you want to be in that orbit all the time. She's pure. Like, she's yeah. so pure where it's, like, it's so crazy to me to see someone just, like, not have any hate or bitterness or any bad intentions. When she sees people, she just smiles and people smile back. And I'm just like, gosh, like, we were all at one point this, like, pure form. Yes. When did we become so hateful, so bitter and jealous and all? It's like... It's a great thing to think about. And every it seems everybody's that way. Is anyone pure anymore that just wants to see, like, good and happiness for everybody? Like, nobody. Everyone's... It, it, it's, it's not nobody. I think it's ultimately everybody. But everybody has been so injured and let down and wounded, and it's it's a mess right now. All right. Hi, guys. What's up? I have my driver of the day, my chauffeur, my chef, my husband, my producer, my tech supervisor. Ooh, is that the new one? Why is it only one new one? White chocolate. I thought they had like a bunch of new... Is there no more? We're trying to get the summer new menu, but like, I haven't been to this one in so long. Isn't the brown? We'll just oh, ask him. down there. Frozen I can't see. mango, dragon fruit, frozen no, pineapple. No, those are old. Maybe go up and ask him. No, these are, these have been out. There's like new, new ones. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, no, this is the one you have. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. We're going to get started for you today. Oh, yeah, Matcha. Hi. We're looking at the new drinks. Oh, I see them now. Yeah, I see it now, and then there's golden foam. Okay. You probably like the shake. Well, what other awesome. What other new ones do you have? Uh, new drinks. The most new it. ones are the Oleados. Are all the Oleado variations? Um, I also I have blended drinks that are not caffeinated, like strawberry lemonade blended, fresh mango dragon fruit. Or frozen pineapple. Um, they have caffeine, but they're not like coffee-based, so it's kind of like a, like a smoothie. Where's awesome. your web internet? I'm trying to have to look it up. Those are pretty good. Okay, um, one second, sorry. Isn't there a chocolate one, like a new chocolate blended? Chocolate? I don't... I have Frappuccinos. None of them are, are totally new, though. Hmm. Okay, um, do you have the... You don't have the chocolate cream cold brew? I do. I have one of those. Yeah. Oh, with the caramel syrup? I can do. I can add. I can add caramel. In there. Okay. Vanilla. Do you want to do caramel instead? Yes, please. Cool. And then, do you also have the uh, iced chai latte with matcha cream cold foam? Uh, of course. Okay. And then, do you have a blended iced black tea lemonade? Blended iced black tea lemonade? Yeah. I could do that for Okay. Um, no, that's it. All right. So we 1740. We'll see if this one does. It says new menu items. Thank you. Thank you very much. We literally ordered all this. So I don't know. Is this fake? Is this a fake one that they, he's like, I guess it's just on the menu. We sounded dumb. We're like, hey, don't you have the chocolate? He's like, no. <laughs> but then he does. I, yeah, I guess it's just. Like, that's what it was on the. Doesn't that say it announced the new summer remix menu? Like, in my. Yeah, that wasn't the idea of Right, but this is exactly, I read off exactly the chocolate cream cold brew with the caramel syrup. <laughs> okay, well, at least I'm not crazy, y'all. There it is right there. Um, anyways, crazy. this is so excited. We, I don't think we've had like a a date, you and me, like this in so long. No, these are new 10 minute dates. 10 minute <laughs> dates right down the street. Um, well, the real reason I wanted Moses to come with me is I wanted to do a TikTok, the one where you're like annoying the husband drinking. 
Oh, yeah, I Wait, what? That's the whole reason, and you're supposed to be driving, and I'm supposed to be like, and then people missed me in the vlog type thing. <laughs> well, well, I could have just gotten the TikTok with you, but then I was like, if we're already gonna go out, because my mom's watching me, obviously she's not watching herself. I was like, if we're already going out, we might as well do a cute little coffee video, because I knew I was gonna eat clam this morning. But um, I think people did miss you on the vlog too. <laughs> They did. I was like, where's Moses? That's always in my mind, though. Well, I did say that to you, and I meant it. I meant it, because I did say it. I said it to you last night, and I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, okay. Well, I don't want you to think I'm gaslighting you or anything. No, I wouldn't have come up with that. But myself. I also, like, I just I originally thought the TikTok, and I thought, oh, well, if you... We're back on the TikTok bandwagon, because TikTok be really pushing out um, videos, so... This is yeah. exciting. I love doing TikToks. Like your nails. Thank you. They're called blueberry milk. That's so funny. Marty liked them too this morning. I don't know how I feel about them. They look a little bit like discolored or something. <laughs> well, it's kind of pastel. Like a non color. Yeah. What's that? What's that fancy plastic thing? I don't know. It's a mug with uh -oh. coffee in it. That's random. Why do they oh, have it's, it out? It's the mug they always have that looks like mermaid fish scales, but I think the coffee is the thing. The bag of coffee. Hey guys. Hey. Hi. It's going to be uh, 7240 today. Great. Thank you. Can ask you a question about a tip, and then you're all set. Good. So, thank you. There you go. Do you want a receipt? No, thank you. Do you have cup holders? Sorry? Please. Do you have a cup holder? Cup holder? Yeah. yeah thank you. Where are you going dressed like this? I'm going to a podcast. <laughs> Like a very random podcast that does like your favorite movie. It's a very random podcast that I'm going to. Like they were talking, I was trying to explain it to Glam earlier. And I, not that I wouldn't come into this podcast now, but I came into this podcast when I had like literally nothing going on. My last podcast went to crap and I didn't have my new Just Church podcast. So I love doing podcasts. Like I like talking. So I was like, yeah, let me do it. And it's also sort of fun because this podcast, you like dress in costume. It's called the SOS VHS podcast, I think. I think that's the name of it. That's cool. It's all, it, was, it was a cool vibe. A lot of people have done it. They've done their favorite movies on it. So I was like, okay. Hey, yes. Great, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Of course. Do you need anything else today? No, this is perfect. Thanks. These are the new items. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe yeah. that site just they make their own <laughs> menu items. No, that site's and like they legit. Have people go and no. ask for it. <laughs> because I also saw it on like Snackle later. Like I really that site always gives me the new stuff. Like it's always legit. That was weird though. And this is usually the one that knows what's up, but not what's up what's up all right let's try these babies oh my god they actually look so cute i love the blended these are like with the blended teeth look how pretty those are uh -huh. Thumbnail. <gasps> you can take one out if you want <laughs> yeah well i think this one looks yeah. so cool okay, there you go it's like chocolate I look so pretty today, oh my gosh. You do, it's a really cool look. Thanks. And I didn't know that's what he was gonna do. I thought I'm gonna come and find you bald with a mohawk. I wanted it, but he didn't know how to do the bald. This is all my all my hair, by the way. He did not do any extensions in it. What? So it feels really light. Like there's no extensions oh, in my hair today. That's so cool. Yeah, he's so good. Anyway, all right, let's try this. So that's the chocolate cream cold brew. Are we parked? Oh. <laughs> I always love a matcha one. I'm going to mess up my lips, so that's fine. I always like a little matcha. This is... It smells so good. Oh, this is chai tea matcha. Oh. I didn't know that chocolate... Like cocoa pebbles. Um, cream. Oh, foam. I didn't know that either. That's what I thought was new. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I got lipstick on mine. How's yours? Wow. Yeah. It's really that good. looks like the stuff they do in Star Wars Land at Disney. They have like a cocoa mm -hmm. like shake thing. That is cool. Mmm. Mine's like a I don't know what I'm ice chai tea. Try this blended. I think he was like, wait, what? This is a <laughs> blended black tea lemonade. I mean it was on the menu so, item. Well you just put it in ice. But it doesn't look like black tea. Straw. No, I feel like the No, because the straw just gets the juice. Mmm. Because my lips, you mean? <laughs> oh, wow. Well. How does it taste? Mmm. 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 -hmm. Black tea lemonade. I mean, black tea is good. Yeah, it's like an Arnold Palmer frozen. <laughs> okay, that's pretty tasty. I mean, that'd be the best refreshing option. Yeah, I feel like when I put a straw on, 
I feel like both of these I shouldn't drink with the straw because like the cold foam you're supposed to suck. It's fine. I can touch up my lips. I'm going to try and eat before anyways. So. I'm going to try mine too. Well, I don't want to mess up yours. Maybe I'll take your oh, lid Oh, I don't off. mind. Babe, if I have lipstick on it. Then yeah. Why would I care? Because then you're going to taste the lipstick. I care for you because I don't There's even no like that. There's no taste for lipstick. Look, babe, there is. I mean, I love you, but. Ooh. Yeah. That's the winner. It's like chocolate and I mean, it's kind of cool like, instead of having a mocha to have it in the foam. Yeah, I think that's the new thing because this too, the matcha and the cold foam, people get this on like a pink drink so it kind of has that baby Yoda vibes. <laughs> Babe, do you want to try any of these or are you good? You want to try, try this? It. So it's a yeah, what a sport. Yeah, we can just throw that down. I'm definitely going to like Do you want the straw? You can if you want. That's like refreshing mm. theme park vibes. You know, when I was a kid, sometimes we would take popsicles and kind of crush them into like a drink. It's what? Like, it's, it's Why did like you? That. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Like if it, it was like a fudgicle or something and then you wanted like a chocolate fudge drink. Or like a popsicle when it, at the end of it and it's mostly ice. <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, I can't get just say. I love your childhood memories. They're so random. <laughs> you have some of those random. Do you want to try this one? This one's actually really yeah. good. I love the cold foam. I think cold foam is like the bad part of a drink, like the sugary so sweet. Yeah. yeah, I never have matcha. Like, I usually don't like matcha, but I like it in this. Mm. This is actually the best drink of all of them. Oh, I think the chocolate yeah. one is. I'm surprised. Yeah. I guess it's like a chai tea latte underneath. Do you drink chai tea? Mm. Have you drank it? I feel like that'd be. No, like that's it. why. Yeah, I love chai. But you never drink it at home, I feel. Because, you know, all the chai tea I bought, they're so spicy. Oh. Like, they have so much spice in it's them. It's too much. I feel like Starbucks is very, like, but down. this is really This nice. is my fave. I give this, this a 10 out of 10. Smooth. You like that better than the chocolate? Yeah, I like this one more. Well, this underneath is what? What was this? What was this? No, just a... What do they call it? Cold brew? Yeah. That's why it's cold brew. Just, like, a cold... I see. So, you espresso. like that? Yeah, I like this better. I mean, that's, I'm surprised because the chocolate, you know what? We should have freaking watched Taxi Driver last night because the whole podcast is talking about a movie and I'm like, it is my favorite movie, but I, I literally haven't seen it in like <laughs> 15 years. Like well, I know the characters' names, but I'm like, I really You can get there early and then sit in your car watch and watch some scenes. highlights from the movie. I'll be like the pick me girl. Says, maybe, taxi Driver is a favorite and then he'll bring something up. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Maybe there's Taxi Driver for dummies. You can pick up on the way. Did we ever watch it together? No, probably mm -hmm. not. No, never. Definitely not. I feel like, oh, okay, that's weird. Because all the movies we watched, I remember. Like comedies? No, but I remember because it was recent and I don't remember that movie. I'm surprised we never watched it. Like Jodie Foster was like a prostitute at 13. My daddy issues music videos based on this. Like I actually like loved this movie, but. Well, I remember that. We watched your music video. You told me about that. And then we watched some stuff on YouTube from the movie. Oh, on YouTube? Like I remember that. Like we in reference to your video but we didn't watch the movie well i just had dr drew on our podcast and i was talking about like how sometimes i don't think of things as like traumatic but i had a like this teacher specifically we were more friends but maybe just like a little too close of friends but i wanted to impress him so much this was like a totally different teacher than anyone talked about but he was like a cool teacher because he was kind of young and he really liked films so i was like i pretended to be in films he loved robert de niro so what he would do is he'd bring me his movies and like tell me to go watch them at home so he'd bring me like taxi driver raging bull like all the mean streets like all these really obscure well those aren't really that obscure ones but like robert de niro movies kid, is, yeah. right and so i'd watch it at oh i feel like we're on a podcast right now i don't know why that was good you had good like listening skills <laughs> I feel like we're on a morning talk. That was good. No, seriously. I was like, wow, that was good. Um, Moses. You're very good. <laughs> Just Moses. This is my Moses. podcast here. Just Moses podcast. Oh, Just Moses. Just Moses. I was like, okay, check Moses. Um, we would have a good podcast. I mean, who knows? We're producing so many podcasts these days. Maybe we will have our own in there. But we could do it at any time. We could do it at night. Anyway, it's a whole other thing. Midnight snack. Midnight Ooh, that's good. I wonder if someone has that. Anyways, that's a good one. But anyways, I would take home these things, but he really loved Taxi Driver, which was also kind of like a red flag because it's basically like there was like a child prostitute and like she had a thing for like her pimp Harvey Keitel and then like this guy was trying to save her and everyone's like, why is everyone obsessed with this like teenage prostitute? And anyways, uh, probably where I started getting infatuated with like older guys or whatever because I remember watching that and like it, it felt glamorous to me. I was like, oh my God, all these like older guys want her. She's like so cool. Anyways, that's the whole other thing. But 
but he we would, then I'd come back with the movie and we would like discuss it while everyone was at lunch. Like I'd have go eat lunch in his room and the door would be closed. It is actually sus. It wasn't that particular one wasn't weird because he actually was like a hot teacher. I would have been like so excited. But um and like again, I know it's like traumatic and it's not right, but like in, at the time I was thinking like, oh I really want to like date this person. I don't know. I was like 13, he was like 40. But he was just nice. He was just that guy was just nice, but it was weird that I was like the only person at lunch like having lunch. Do you with think him. he was like was he like just didn't go the step into weirdness but wanted to or it was more like i, I want to be a mentor i want to be the missing person mm, in your life it's weird because it wasn't like ever like flirty but kind of and he would ask me questions about the movies and stuff and like would that make you feel so, like cape fear was an, oh cape fear is another big one with robert de niro and juliette lewis is like a 12 or 13 year old who is taking like this college course and Robert Junior comes in and acts like the teacher and he's having her like suck his thumb when she's like supposed to be, I think she was 18, but she was supposed to be like 13 or 14 in the film. And, um, and I remember he'd asked me like, how'd that make you feel? So like maybe, but it wasn't, it definitely wasn't like no touching or anything like that. So maybe I always just say this in general now looking back, obviously as an adult, it's like, it's creepy. Like, why are you being friends with a 13 year old? But, um, mm -hmm. I mean, I guess as a teacher, maybe he thought he was being like a cool teacher. I don't know. I felt cool because I was the only one in there and I was like, ooh. And then I would watch Cape Fear and it was another Robert De Niro movie and he's like sucking his thumb and I was like, ooh. Like, I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> we didn't do that, but I was like, if I had, I thought that's like what it would be. I don't know. Anyways, watch the Dr. Drew episode. I have a lot of like, I guess, issues. <laughs> Some daddy issues. I have teacher issues, but. Well, they were, they were taking the place of the dad. Did you see Cape Fear? Right. Did you see Cape Fear? Where's Robert De Niro? Cape Nick Fear. Nolte. Oh, man. I mean, I remember it way back, like when it came out, when I was like young. Yeah, it was a I remake in the nineties. Yeah, I must have seen it back then. He was like ripped. He was like fifty, but he was like Jack, because he, he was supposed to just be coming out of prison, so he had all these like tattoos. He was super ripped. Like, I had a Robert De Niro face for sure, but um, yeah. Yeah, he was big in. I mean, he is big, and he's big in Israel. Like people love. Oh, his really? And Scarface and all those movies are big. I was Al Pacino. I always mix the two. I know, no, me too. I think <laughs> Wait, he's so been Robert in like. De Niro, El Pacino. They were in movies together. I think. I think they were in like, Goodfellas. No, One I time, know. I was. I don't watch mom we movies. We were in New York in a restaurant, and the both of them were having lunch at table across Ooh. from us. Did you know? Because were you with your bougie friends, the famous friends? So did they? Did they say hi to them? Because they were famous too. Because he has a hotel and restaurant in New York. Right, uh, with town around the green something whatever it's like in yeah no i remember i used to want to go because i would look up all his stuff it was in just tribeca. so surreal it's like wait a minute like el pagino and... was it in tribeca yeah because that's like their thing right the tribeca film mm -hmm. festival yeah because i used to like want to meet him so bad and like now he's like they're all old and like getting everyone pregnant i'm like dang yeah you could have been that <laughs> could have been me old. Dang, I'm too old. <laughs> Sometimes I think about that. I was like, wow, I really am like too old for some of these guys who like like Leonardo DiCaprio. For the <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. Not Doesn't before it feel seeing it. To be too old for the creeps. Too. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. It is. Although yes I don't and think, no. I don't think you are. No, I am. Thirty-five is definitely too old. No, I mean, some of the guys the are in their seventies. Like. Yeah, but El Pacino, the one he got pregnant, in, allegedly is like twenties. Yeah, but I think. Did you know of that girl? Yeah, I mean. I've, yeah. Anyways, we can cut that. When I saw no, when I saw <laughs> okay. the picture, I was like, "Well, I've seen that person before." But just in the circles. Um, but to me, what's interesting is like, I think he would have gone for a thirty-year-old. Like, I don't think when you're that old, thirty, twenty, like, is it that big of a difference? Yeah, I think they want the twenty. I mean, sometimes, sometimes not. Like, um, but. Well, I think they can't fool the thirty-year-old. Yeah. I think maybe that's the difference. Yeah. Well, it's like, of course. there's a window where you can fool people that's nice. Oh, 20 is easily, like, you can just tell them whatever and they, like, go with it, you know. It's sad. It's a sad thing. I mean, and the thing is, is yeah, girls, young girls do like older guys. Maybe for the wrong reasons, maybe for the right reasons. I mean, genuinely, I was attracted to, like, older guys, but obviously there was, like, an issue. But everyone, like, in when I was in high school, all the girls dated guys that were out of high school like older than high school okay but they weren't like 40 or 50. no i'm saying just that general that general notion of like girls are more advanced than boys yeah. they're smarter than the boys and they 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 always dated like girls never dated guys us like in their own level that's interesting you know I mean? like never, never. No. no i mean someone had to date high school like hardly high school sweethearts hardly no because high school boys are annoying 
even to this day high school boys are annoying i don't think i ever said it on camera but i said it to you these high school boys like literally as i was like driving home in my white ranger not even in my pink car they're like roll down your window trisha they were like filming so i kind of just like gave a wave i didn't roll on my window i just gave away they were literally high school boys and then it was so weird and then i like the light was going and they're like oh i watch all your corn corn whatever and then they're like oh f you you fat bitch and they like gave me the finger and they were like filming and then i try to like speed up to them to try and film them and get their license plate and shit because i was like oh these little br i hate high school boys i hate them they're so arrogant and they were literally high school they were not college i mean they were so young and i was just well, like you have to be that young and stupid you know? i got their license though i'm like if i ever see them because it was in my area i was off my exit i was like if i ever see them i'm like literally i literally almost was gonna like follow them home because i started like raging and i was like okay like i didn't have like well first come and get me and then I almost oh did, but I was also really embarrassed. Like in the time, the moment actually like really hurt me, and I was just like really like embarrassed by it. And then I was like, well, it just takes you back to high school. Yeah, <laughs> and I like... can't stand high school boys. Whenever I see them, like they like, annoy me so much. And it's like maybe it's why I'm not gonna be a boy mom because honestly, like if my son was ever like any type of way like that, I would literally but like your son won't be. That's the point. <sighs> Who's raising these people? I was just like, uh uh. No one. <laughs> Maybe I oh oh I had their license. I still like I'm gonna do something because I thought and then I was hoping maybe they would post it on social media because they would think it's cool or funny and then like you know social right. media would rip them down and be like that's not cool like what the hell like it was crazy it was actually crazy it was like such a string of emotions in like literally like 20 seconds like oh Trisha we love you and then like we want your word. and then I was like all of a sudden f you f the, the fat bitch I think the fat bitch part I was just like. That's because they're so young and stupid. It's like the only thing that can come out of their mouth. You know? I hate it. And they always were like that even when I was a kid too. Like they always, that was the thing. And they call me even when I go on the fat. And like I think it's like a thing that like boys go to. So I never liked high school boys. I never liked 20 year old boys. Like I just never did. I guess I'm like the opposite of Matthew McConaughey and Dazed and Confused. He would talk about high school girls. He's like, I get older and they stay the same age. But that's kind of like me in reverse with the guys I date. I get older, but they stay the same age because I've always dated people in their 40s. So everyone I met was like literally 41, 42 when I met them. Are you going to replace me when I get to 50? <laughs> Maybe. No, 50 is a good age because I was going for 50. When I was like 18, I was going like 50s. But like serious people I was dating was like in their 40s. I mean, granted, I was older when I met you. I was like in my 30s. But I used to like be 20 and they were in their 40s. And, yeah, I think, I mean. Still too much. Yeah, I think people are just looking for established people to partner up with. What? Established people to partner up with? Like you're looking for somebody that's oh, old yeah. enough to be established. Mm -hmm. Like you're not, you're like, I'm not going to take my chances. I'm not going to take somebody <laughs> in their 20s. Trying that's to figure interesting. Out who they are. Yeah. Um, people still change. And I mean, because I've, I've seen a lot of couples that get together in their 20s and they change so much. That yeah. They have to grow apart. That's actually true. That's actually very true. I think that too. I think it's like, I always want to be married young. I think 30s is the right age. I actually think our, well, you're very different because you're like definitely not a 40. I've dated 40 year olds and they like act a lot older. You act like younger than me and more energy. You're like, it's actually amazing. But um, I think ours is like a good age difference, but you, it's different. You're different. Um, but yeah, for the most part, but it's not always the case that they're more established in their 40s. Sometimes they don't even know what they want and they're a mess. And right. No, but I'm saying but that's, the, that's why it happens. Like that's what somebody's yeah, looking for. Yeah, that's true. That's attractive. Oh my God. I think you were the first person I knew that owned property, you know, like, I some famous people and that's true but not like seriously like the ones that i yes. seriously dated were like famous but then they didn't have money or whatever which is like fine i mean i wasn't ever after that but yeah i mean i definitely like yeah there's been some really famous people that i like really liked but never fully like dated also i just like i think that famous is overrated for real i do i, I look at people that are like with famous people and i'm like god it sounds even like that guy that played spongebob who's like not super famous but he's semi-famous enough to like have that whole I don't know. I just, I don't feel that with us. Yeah, that well, that's the danger of like, I guess with fame comes temptation. And if somebody's not strong enough to face temptation, then you're screwed. Like, you're yeah. Just, you know. Well, I don't think I'd even be in the position because we're always together. No, but I'm saying like you should be feel safe even if we're not together like that's yeah. just not I do because I would like, never want to the fact that we're together is not the reason it's not happening <laughs> yeah I'm always loyal though because I never want to like ruin even the bad things I never want to ruin because I'm like oh no I got a good thing there's really like no one seriously same here well you're so good you are strong you are that's so I'm a little more weak but never when it comes to cheating ever because I'm like oh, I have such I have such the perfect husband so I'm like I would never 
there's literally no one. I mean, there's no one I could ever replace you with. And also for like a fling, it's like, is it worth it? It's like, to me, I mean. Well, that's where it comes to not people that can't control themselves because they're kind of like addicts to. Because isn't all something. sex kind of the same? To some, but that's the thing. It's not about the sex. They have an addiction to something. I don't know what it is. Something about everything around it, the cheating. Yeah. But it's just not. Or just like a new person maybe excites them. Some yeah, so there's some excitement that comes around it because most casual sex is horrible. That's what I'm saying. Like to me, like like it, the it's chance not... that you meet somebody have a one night stand and be good is z of zero. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like you just have a a spouse you could just do it and pretend there's that person for the night or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I've, I've definitely had sex dreams about people when I'm just like, mm, and then I always tell you, like, oh, I'm like, mm, mm, <laughs> the next morning, you know. I think that's like fine. If you like that about someone yeah. else, I like no, wouldn't but care. It's not even, yeah, it doesn't even. I, to me, what happens the more time we spend together, the more like, oh, like over time, it's like a cleanse. Like there's nobody in my mind anymore. Oh, wow. Nobody else. So it's like when I have thoughts of that, it's only you. Ooh, wow, really? Even when yeah. you watch like TV shows and stuff. I never get that from TV shows. Like, what's someone watch? Oh, The Idol? You never think that with her? No. Really? Oh. No, even watching I was it. Like, mm -hmm. Even when I was watching it, there wasn't like... Really? Like, wasn't, like, oh, I was so embarrassed because we were watching it and I was like, oh my God, like I'm watching this with you. Like, this is so... Because <laughs> I was feeling yeah. it. My, like, things, like, everything clenches down there and I was like, ugh. <laughs> it was weird. I haven't thought that in so long. And I was like, is this too much? <laughs> like, you didn't? <know>, really? <laughs> uh oh. I feel like that like, was like light porn to me. That was like they definitely had a lot of like, erotic, yeah, it's like erotica. I was very yeah, but it doesn't. I, I don't know. Like it doesn't. No, that doesn't do that. Because especially I think in that setting, right? Like we're watching a story, we're watching it together. Like it's not. I love that. It doesn't like I don't know. I don't know what it was. I like everything. Like I liked the weekend. I liked her. I liked the other guy that came in. Like, no, I think there was too much cringe around it. The weekend's not my type either, but I was you know, like, I'm saying there's too much cringe around it for me to be. Like, I, like I say, it was more embarrassing than sexy. It was a little embarrassing. I loved it though. <laughs> I thought it was sexy because even she, I think she's beautiful, but she's not even my type because I love like big, huge boobs. I just there was something about her. I was just like, mm. when she was dancing at the end for Eli Roth, I was just like, oh my god! Like it was like I was like in. Embarrassed because I was like, wow, this is so erotic right now. <laughs> I almost felt like it's a friend's daughter. You know, it's like Johnny Depp. It's his daughter. Like... <laughs> <laughs> you think Johnny Depp is your friend? What are you, that girl on TikTok? Remember the one that thought she was dating oh Johnny God. Depp? <laughs> well, she was. Some version of him in a parallel universe. What was it called? What? A uh, star. Which It was called uh, Astro Projection. Oh, Astro Projection. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, I love that. <laughs> That's interesting. I only think about people like literally if you watch something before bed and then like I always dream about that person. It's always like a mm -hmm. sex dream. It's always very weird. I don't know. And it happens all the time when we watch a show over and over right now watching like Home Improvement. And I'm like, this is so <laughs> weird. It's so <laughs> weird. And it's like, I never liked him, Alan, like that. I never liked The Weekend like that. So it was like Lost was a big thing. And then it was uh, The Idol was a big thing in my mind. Oh, You was a big one. And now home improvement every night, and I'm just that's like, oh my god, this is very weird. <laughs> she tried to watch something that's so like off your brand and see if it's still like. I feel like even when we do, I, I dream like what was the one? Oh, Stranger Things. I used to have so many sex dreams about that one. That one was so weird. The guy with Wait, the long oh, hair. The monster. <laughs> no, the one with the long hair. Babe, they're too young for you. No, well, he's an adult in real life. Well, that's the other reason I don't like to watch, like, shows in general about high school, like, euphoria. I'm like, why are people watching this? Like, these are literal high school students. And it made me feel weird. I get it. They're, like, over the age. But I don't know. It feels, it makes me feel weird. I think weird. it's for, like, college kids. Because they get excited about oh. watching things about sex, drugs, and rock and roll kind of thing. Yeah, that like, one was, like, just... too graphic. Like, the idol was just, like, sex, and they were adults, and... It was L.A. pop star. Someone, I think it was Ronnie. He's like, oh, it reminded me of you when I was watching that. I was like, oh, my God, thank you. Like, I used to be a pop star, too, like Dustin. I mean, she pretty much took your song and make it. I mean, name. for real, though. Like, freaking. Freak, freak. Yeah, that remix was good. All right, guys. Well, this has been a great coffee. We have to do our coffee TikTok now. Um, oh, yeah. But... <laughs> Thanks I love for my watching. Drink. Oh my god, I would never know. Ever really? To even think about ordering. This. I'm shocked. I thought you would like the chocolate one. Well, I'm gonna drink this in our TikTok, and then this was trash, I guess. The black tea. It was cute, but yeah, he seemed a little perplexed by it, anyways. When I said, "Wait, well, just so, a lot of ice for a drink." You're a lot of ice for a drink. This is fun.
our little coffee day. All right, we gotta go see our little Malibu boo, or as your mom calls her, Malibu ba. Yeah. And um, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Looks. Check out our TikTok. I hope we get the 24 million <laughs> views. Bye. Check out Just Trish. Yeah, check out Just Trish. The Dr. Drew episode is out. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Bye, guys.